welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. In today's video we are diving into an application, a note taking app or a highlighter, web highlighter or web clipper uh, that I think will help me stop doom scrolling on social media and it might even help you do the same thing. And I'm not necessarily against scrolling on social media. I don't think social media is bad. But the problem I have is whenever I end up not having anything to do, so I choose to go on uh, TikTok or Instagram or Twitter, now X. Uh, I actually don't use Instagram that much, but TikTok and X, and I just scroll and scroll and scroll, and none of it actually entertains me. I do not learn anything. I don't find it fun at all but suddenly two to three hours have passed without me actually doing anything that's the problem i have it isn't necessarily about being productive uh, but it is about spending time doing something you actually enjoy and something that actually gives you energy so now let's jump into the application so today i'm on the mac and we are looking at an um, application right here called Glasp. This is more a web clipper than a note-taking app but it can actually function as a note-taking app as well and we are going to start off with going through some of the features before I show you the feature that I actually think can help me from doom scrolling. The first thing you see here is your timeline view of your highlights. This actually works with Kindle as well so you can have your books inside of here and you can actually get all of your Kindle highlights inside of here as well if that is something you would want to do. But this is a timeline view of things I have highlighted. You can highlight both images and text. This is actually, uh, everything is from today. This is actually from Hayao Miyazaki. Uh, I uh, am really into uh, Studio Ghibli movies at the moment so that's why this ended up in here but I have a few things I have some notes about Glass the application as well so this is the timeline view of uh, all of the highlights I've taken and the highlights is taken using this web clipper which I will get back to a little later but here you have a github heat map like uh, experience that shows you how many notes you've taken and on what or how many highlights and on what days um, so that is also something you can see here and you can see a knowledge graph as well but that is not uh, what's uh, important uh, most of these note-taking apps actually work as information silos so only information that you have and you can are the only person that can input information into the application and be able to see that information this is a little different this is more like a shared knowledge graph and when i press home i can actually see what other people have uh, highlighted and these are people i follow but let's say i'm really into knowledge management or the creator economy which i am i can just press this and i can start to see and what others have highlighted around the creator economy or self-improvement and I can just go into here and I can see what everyone else has highlighted and I can also find um, the articles and I can bookmark them so let's say I wanted to bookmark this now I actually have it in my bookmark and this can actually function as my uh, read later or my reading list which is really really cool so rather than spending time uh, scrolling social media i would much rather spend time scrolling this finding things to read and going in and actually reading those articles because i find that a lot more exciting than actually just sitting through tiktok after tiktok after tiktok as you can see here there are a lot of things and this of course gets better the more people that uses the application um, the more people that uses the application, the more uh, glasps we have or highlights. And you can see top highlights here as well. And so this is something six people have highlighted and you can just scroll to, through this. And this applies to everything you find. You can also search inside of here if there are something, uh, there is something specific you are looking for or uh, some kind of specific topic you are looking for. 
you have a following feed and you also have a for you feed this isn't something i have tested out personally but uh, i think it is really cool that they have it i don't have enough highlights for this to actually give me personalized recommendation uh, but as you can see this right here actually functions more like a social media page than many other note-taking apps that have tried doing the same thing and so i really like this and i will be jumping around in different uh, sort of different um, highlights and uh, different topics and just going through them and diving into the rabbit hole of uh of this application and the different topics it provides me with instead of jumping through social media and as i said you can uh, jump into your um, bookmarks right here and you can actually go in and you can read something so let's say i wanted to actually read this right now now we can test the web clipper here as well uh, so just to show you an example this is the definition of habits i can go ahead and i can uh, mark this and then this right here shows up which is uh, really similar to to um, the highlighting abilities inside of kindle which many people are familiar with i can go ahead and i can highlight this i can open the web clipper by looking at it and here i can see my highlights and notes and i can actually leave page comments as well and what's really fun about this is that this works with youtube uh, videos as well so let's just jump into youtube right here I can open up a YouTube video right here and you can see that I have this transcript and summary here. I can see all of the transcripts and I can actually highlight things and I can uh, uh, highlight them and put them into my uh, glass. So this works for YouTube videos as well. Uh, you can also find a summary article. And this doesn't work for every single video but it works for uh, many of them as you can see the summary of this video is not yet available we summarize videos one by one so it might take a while but they have a youtube summary extension as well if that is something you would need but you can also summarize the video open a new tab using chat gpt you can jump to the current time and you can copy the whole transcript if you wanted to do that so I just wanted to show you that this works with YouTube videos as well, which is really, really cool. And as you can see, highlights from Atomic Habits appear right here, and I can leave uh, another comment, findings, etc. Though there is one more thing I wanted to show you, and that is the ability to create uh, what's called a quote shot. And if I press this, you can see that I can create one of these cards to share on social media or to put inside of a note-taking app if that is something you would want to. So this application has integrations and we can jump into our settings and into integrations to find them. As you can see, there are several places you can import from and you can actually export to readwise and notion so if you wanted to get all of this into your note taking app you can actually use the readwise extension or the notion extension if you are using notion which is great you also have the ability to talk with yourself ask your digital me this is just like many other note-taking apps uh, offer a place for you to discuss with your own knowledge. But that was everything for today's video. I really think this application can help me actually use my time better and use my time on something I actually want to do. Uh, so uh, that is why I wanted to show you this uh, application today. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below and I will try to get to them as soon as I can. Thank you so, so much for watching today's video.